everyone, it's Leah here from Barking Beautiful Dog Grooming in South Ascot. I work very closely with Jo at Sunning Hill Vets and she's asked if I could do a video for you all with tools to use whilst at home in lockdown. Um, I have two standard poodles, a mini schnauzer and a Lazar cross poodle. So I have had to bring half my grooming salon home to keep on top of their coats. Now I know a lot of my clients are really worried about their dog's coats as well whilst we're all in lockdown. The most important thing guys is that you bath, dry and comb your dog. I have grown dogs out for competition for six to nine months where their coat is an explosion. I will get some photos and add these to the video of a toy poodle that I used for competition and I grew him out for six to seven months and his owner was amazing with brushing his coat and he came to me I think he was coming in once a week or once every two weeks for a bath dry and brush out so if you keep on top of this you won't need to trim your dog um, obviously you've got the problems with the eyes the pads I've done some short videos on how to do that so your most important product is a decent shampoo I'm an ambassador for a company called Colin Taylor Grooming and I use all their products because I absolutely love their products, they're fantastic. Um, you can go to their website and get their products. Um, one of the ones that I've brought home is the Deep Cleansing Shampoo, which is very highly concentrated but it gets rid of all the muck. They've got a huge range on there but they've got their Berry, Pure Filth which is amazing, lots of stuff. So. I highly recommend their shampoos. Everyone's been asking me what shampoo to use at home. Please don't use human shampoo or um, Johnson's baby shampoo. The pH levels in these are very high and they can be different on dog skin. So if you've got a very sensitive skin dog, it could bring them out in a rash. So that's why it's always best to use dog safe products on your dogs. So head over to Colin Taylor Grooming and Janet will be able to assist you on what the best shampoo is for your dog or just alter alternatively message me and I can help you with regards to that. They also do the sprays and the conditioning product which I'm going to go through. So your next essential tools will be a good slicker brush um, with the long pins. Now this is a lot of brushes that my clients have but they think you only need to use this, you don't. You need a slicker brush and you also need your wide tooth comb. Now my equipment I use is expensive, but you can buy the cheaper products because these are about 60 pound and that's about 50 pound, but I groom 10 dogs a day um, that I need good equipment for. You can get um, slicker brushes and combs off websites like Groomers Online, Christie's Direct, Simpsons of Langley, Red Cape, Muttneys, there's loads of grooming companies out there that you can buy just a few bits off um, and if you contact one of them I'm sure they'll be able to help you. So the most important thing is you need to bath your dog first, really really give your dog a good scrub and I mean not just like this, you have to get into their pads, in between their toes, their eyes, their mouth, their ears, everything. Um, again, I've done a brief video for you on this. So once your dog has been bathed, um, give a good towel dry. If your dog is fine with blasters or hair dryer, then go ahead and dry them. But please don't try to comb your dog whilst your dog is wet. You will break the dog's coat and it's very uncomfortable. So as soon as your dog is dry, you're going to go over your dog with a slicker brush. Now you need to make sure you get all over and I mean ears, mouth, behind the ears, neck, body, tail, base of the tail, backs of the legs, everywhere. Not just surface brush, you need to really slicker brush this dog through. Now to help with the brush through, I use the Colin Taylor Glide Spray, it's a conditioning spray. So you just mist it over the dog, then use a the slicker brush to go through. Once you slicker brush the dog, you will then need to comb through your dog. Again, I've done a video which I uploaded the other day, which I did with Thor. So you need to go section by section and comb the dog out with this comb. And you need to get all the knots and the matting out if, if there is any. If you do this once a week, your dog will be fine. As long as you do it properly, your dog honestly will be fine for a few months to wait. Um, now, I have had people ask me about clippers and scissors because they're really worried about this. Um, 
I'm going to recommend some products that I use, but again, it's professional equipment, so it is very expensive. There is cheaper alternatives out there, but they won't be up to the job for you to do. Um, so the first is my clippers. Now these are made by Andis. These are the Pulse ZR2s. These are about 300 and something pounds. I think I paid about 320, 330 for them, but they are professional. Um, they come with the snap-on blades as well. Um, there's a huge array with all different lengths. I mean, I could spend hours going through all the different lengths, um, comb attachments, all sorts, but you really don't need to worry about this. I mean, if you are really worried and your dog is severely matted or overdue, then please contact me and I will try going through with some help for you to get your dog comfortable. Um, nail clippers, I just use the normal little nail clippers. Again, you can get these from the suppliers that I said before. I always do keep a pot of nail safe with me in case you do catch a nail, but if you don't have any, corn flour or a bar of unperfumed soap will seal the nail if you catch it. Um, scissors, I'm a left-handed left dog groomer, so I have a huge array, but I have my straights, my curves, um, more curves, thinners, chunkers, all sorts. Um, any scissor will do if you just need to trim um, their eyes, but preferably a dog grooming scissor, not dressmaking scissors, not kitchen scissors. Um, you need a, a, a decent pair of scissors if you are trimming, especially for safety reasons. If you have a hand strip dog um, and they're getting pretty um, explosive or double coated dog like a husky, golden retriever, um, I use these, they're called coat kings. Uh, so they've got like a rake on them um, to get out all the undercoat. Now, if you bath and dry your dog first, then brush them with the slicker brush to get any little knots out. And then if you go over them with this, you'll be able to remove all their dead coat. Now, please be careful with this. You can keep going and going and going and going and going, but you will make your dog red because it is a little rake. So you can be quite firm, but just don't go over that same spot for about five minutes because you're, you're going to hurt your dog's skin. Um, so yeah, I, like I said, the most important thing in this situation at the moment is making sure your dog is bath, dried, brushed out, combed out, and they will be fine. I, like I said, I've had dogs that I've grown out for months and months of competition, but I just keep on top of their coat. I've got two standard poodles that are in a, a heavy coat. Again, they're bathed and dried, brushed out weekly. I could grow and grow and grow them for a year. And as long as I bath dry and brush them out and they're not a mat free and the air can then travel through their coat to keep them cool, keep their temperature regulated, then you're fine. It's when the dog's coat starts to mat, that's when you then start to have, to have problems with their skin, um, being uncomfortable. Sometimes they can get snappy because if you can imagine the mat is so tight to the skin, it's like me doing that all the time to myself and that actually hurts so it's just the prep work like anything it's like painting and decorating the prep work so important a mechanic the prep work is so important so anything in an industry the prep is always the most important and is what lasts which is the bathing the drying the brushing the combing out so if you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. I'll be more than happy to help. Just head over to Barking Beautiful Dog Grooming on Facebook or my Instagram is full of lots of videos and helpful tips, which is at Barking Beautiful DG. Thank you, everyone, and hope you're all staying safe and well and see you on the other side. Bye.